Hi. So the question is, how do we identify a localized versus a delocalized bond? First, let's define the term. A localized bond stays between the two atoms that it's originally bonded to. Uh, so it's, it's stagnant, it's not moving. All right, a delocalized bond does not stay. It moves about the molecule. And it does this through a very important term, concept, resonance. Resonance is the movement of electrons through delocalized bonds through a molecule. So let's look at our first, our first structure here. As you can see, it has double bonds. So you should be thinking, okay, it has double bonds. Can these move? Well, the only way that they could move uh, is towards the middle. They could form a bond right here. But as we can see, this carbon, the third carbon, the middle carbon, doesn't want another bond. It has four bonds already, uh, two to two hydrogens and uh, two bonds to two carbons. And it can't break any of those bonds. So that movement of the double bond swinging open, that's not going to happen. This is a localized double bond. But let's look at the second structure. Okay, so we notice it has two double bonds. That's good. It also has a positive charge here on carbon five. And that means that it, there is a lacking. There is an absence of electrons that wants to be filled. So what we can see is this, this bond can move to fill it. And when it swings open, that positive charge gets transferred to the middle carbon. It's now on carbon three. Now carbon three is lacking. And so we can swing the other bond as well. And so now we get the resonance contributor on the right side. This is a resonance contributor over here, um, which is essentially the mirror image <laughs> where the bonds have swung open and now the positive charge is on the left. So these bonds have been able to move. They've been able to be delocalized, to resonate. So the, this is the definition of delocalized bonds, bonds that can swing open, bonds that are one away from each other that can move. And you're gonna see this through double bonds and triple bonds, never through a single bond. Lastly, let's look at our last molecule. This is a carboxylic acid. And if you notice the double bond, it's not next to another double bond. So how's this gonna work? What happens is delocalized bonds can come through lone pairs as well. So the lone pair of this oxygen, this alcohol on the bottom, is going to form a double bond and kick up the electrons forming that double bond. So that's why on the right, we see we have three lone pairs around this oxygen instead of two normally. So it has three lone pairs and a negative and the alcohol, the carboxylic acid now has, uh, no, should have one lone pair, apologies. Um, but it has uh, three bonds, two to carbon and one to hydrogen and a positive charge. So in summary, Delocalized bonds will always be multiple bonds, double, triple, or lone pairs. That's where they're going to come from. And they only happen when there is somewhere for them to go, when there's a positive charge or when there's something like an oxygen that can take a negative charge. And they have to be one away from each other in order to move the other one. A delocalized bond is never going to move with one arrow and that's it. There's always going to be a second arrow in there. All right, I hope that helps. Good luck.